Yesterday we read Anna Carey's Water, and I asked you to think about what is the central message or the lesson learned in this story. Some of you said that it was to be patient because you noticed that Anna wanted to be able to carry water on her head like her siblings, and she wanted to do it right then. But she had to be patient, and eventually as she got older and practiced more, she was able to do it. So that was a great message. Another message was to persevere. Some of you thought it was never give up, keep trying. And since, because she did, she kept trying. Another thing was when the cows were chasing her, she thought, which wasn't really true, that is when she actually ran with the water on her head without spilling a drop. But were the cows actually chasing her? No. So you might have identified one of the messages as don't jump to conclusions before you've really researched something. So that was a great story about Anna Carey's water. Today we're going to look at another story to go with our module on water around the world and it is called The Water Princess. This is based on the childhood experience of Georgie Badil and she's actually a famous model now and I'll tell you more about her after the story. It's written by Susan Verde, illustrated by Peter Reynolds. I am Princess Gigi. My kingdom, the African sky, so wide and so close. I can almost touch the sharp edges of the stars. I can tame the wild dogs with my song. I can make the tall grass sway when I dance. I can make the wind play hide and seek. But I cannot make the water come closer. I cannot make the water run clearer, no matter what I command. It is early morning, still dark. My mother wakes me. Gigi, my princess, it is time to get up. We must collect the water. Water, come. Do not make me wake before even the sun is out of bed, I demand. Come, please, I say. But the water won't listen, and I know we will have to walk so far to the well. I am too sleepy to put on my crown. I think of the pot that will rest on my braids instead. The thirst comes quick, dry lips, dry throat. I squeeze my eyes shut. I see it clear. I dip my toes in it cool. I scoop it up and bring it to my lips. Slowly I open my eyes, nothing. I kick the dust. I grab my empty pot and place it upon my head. My mother does the same and our journey begins, full of song. My mem man adds her melody. Our steps are light. We twirl and laugh together. The miles give us room to dance. Halfway there, we stop for a moment at the giant karit tree, long enough to grab a handful of sweet chia nuts for energy. We can keep the dance going just a little longer. My man, are we there yet? Finally, I hear the water running from the well. The giggles of my friends, the chatter of women. Some have traveled farther than I only to return home when the sun has gone to bed. My man holds our place while I play with friends. The dance continues, the water is flowing. Pots filling with the dusty earth colored liquid. Gigi, come, maintenant. My turn now. The dance home has slowed to careful steps. 
My thirst so heavy like the full pot I carry. Our song is softer now. Our shoulders ache. Our feet cramp. I see home at last. My man boils enough water for drinking. We wait. We wash our clothes. We prepare food for cooking. My father comes quickly from the fields to share in the drink and the meal. He scoops me up. My princess, you have returned with the water. Drink, my man says, finally. Every sip fills me with energy. I want to make it last, but I can't gulp it down. Clothes and body clean. I sing to the dogs. I dance with the tall grass. I hide from the wind. My man brings one last cup she has saved just for me. Drink, my princess. Sleep, my princess. Tomorrow we journey again. My man, I say as I close my eyes, why is the water so far? Why is the water not clear? Where is our water? Sleep, she says. Dream, she says. Someday you will find a way, my princess, someday. I am Princess Gigi. My kingdom, the African sky, the dusty earth, and someday the flowing cool crystal clear water, someday. So this is based on a true story. These are pictures of children in Africa gathering water and that's where they get their water. And they still carry it on their heads. And here are some pictures of different communities which might have different wells. This is a, a pump that pumps clean water from a new well. And there's 578 students there. So excited about that clean water. So this woman who this story is based on. She's an African model, and she is working to make a difference and get clean water to those in need. So she spent her summers living with her grandmother, and they would walk for miles to fill pots with water and return it home to be used for just drinking, bathing, and cooking. And then they do it all over again. And then it mentions here how a quarter of the population in her town in Africa has no access to clean water and both illnesses from contaminated water and the time it takes to collect the water have prevented many children from going to school. The walk itself is an average four miles each day, which is the length of about 70 football fields. So she is working very hard to bring awareness to this crisis and to inspire us to be part of the change. So actually, I just want you to think about what what did you learn from this story, The Water Princess? What did you learn from it? What did it make you think about? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.